I was praying about what to share with you, and I've shared this before, but I think it's very relevant to kind of our season and what we've been, what we've gone through as a team. So I'm going to read to you battles that belong to God, and we're going to focus on Gideon again. Gideon was working diligently when he got the message that God wanted him to lead an army against the enemy. While it was good that Gideon was given the best soldiers, they only numbered 300 men. God assured Gideon that the battle would be won by the Lord and not by men. There was no question that God gave the 300-man army of Israel victory over the 135,000-man army in the, of the Midianites. It was only when they obeyed the Lord and trusted in God alone that they emerged victorious. In our own lives, we face battles, not on the field with swords and spears, but in our hearts and minds. So we've been through all of this stuff, right? Appendicitis, emergency surgeries, car accidents, injuries, and each of you has been called on at different times to step up, and you guys have done incredibly well. Tonight, let God fill you with the joy. Let it overflow. Let it be infectious. Um, play free of fear with the primary goal of honoring Him and laying it all on the line for your teammates. You got 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes. is down balls, right? They're hitting these down balls and we're just up and we're getting tooled. So let's, you can block, but just be up and press. Seal back to six, and let's play some good defense. Let's stop it. Hey, Roy! Hey, family up three, one, two, three, family! family.
guys, I love it. You guys got full control of this match. Let's go. Put the pedal down, put him away now. Let's go. All you got. Let's go. Incredible. I mean, you know, coming from a, coming to a completely new school and uh, dealing with all the adversity of, you know, are, is there going to be season, is there not? And then half the guys getting COVID and surgeries and all different kinds of adversity. This is a really sweet one. And it's sweet just because the school, they've never won one before. So what a joy to come over here and bring a little talent and uh, it's still a new, a new desire for greatness over here at the school. So. Very exciting. We've had a long season, kind of a tough season actually. We've all been like injured and stuff, and everyone's been out, and we've had different guys playing at different times. And you know, as a senior, it's just been cool to see everyone like grow and and get to play on the court, and everyone off the court being energized is really awesome. And it's just fun, fun as a senior to play. I mean, we all came from a new school. Uh, this is all our first year, and it was just awesome to come out, bring the spirit to our to the school. You know, brand new school. I was really happy that we could bring it. It was really fun. It's outstanding because we've been working all year and we had a lot of diversity, a lot of injuries. And then to win it at the end, it's just, it's, re it's revealing. It's, it's very, uh, what's the word? We feel like we've done a lot of work and it's paid off. I mean, it means so much. I think we've been working so hard and for so long and to finally get the reward of that and with this great, incredible group of guys for God is just amazing. It's been a great experience. Well, as a transfer student here at CBCS, and I, this is my first year playing volleyball too, so it's actually like incredible that we got out here, faced some really good competition, and just won it. Like we, we were working hard, we had devotions every day, which uh, lifted us up as a team, and just to build a camaraderie with each other was amazing. So winning it was um, just as family was amazing.